What's good guys, Rashard D here with Double Level. We are going to be doing another unboxing video. So let's get the box and see what's in it. Here we go. We got the package here. We go, I have already uh, sliced it so that way it would be easier to open. So let's uh, open it up and see what we got. Voila. And it appears to be a drone. Uh, now this drone is going to be from a company called SEMA and it's the X500 drone. It's a foldable drone uh, with a camera uh, on the front of the drone and a com camera below the drone. Uh, it offers GPS tracking, waypoint flight, flight path, uh, human tracking, uh, circle flight uh, and it also it has Wi-Fi so you can control this with your phone uh, and it has a long um, battery life on this bad boy so you, know, you also have a remote on here with dual frequency uh, it gives you 2.4 gigahertz and also 5g um, on here so uh, you have multiple options to control the uh, actual drone so with that said let's just go ahead and open it up Now this is nice. Nice packaging, comes in a nice black bag. And uh, from the size of the, the bag itself, the case, uh, you can see how small the drone is. So let's just open it up and get right to it. So here's the drone itself. Comes in a nice little protective plastic. And there it is. I'm gonna put that right there for a second. Uh, this appears to be the remote. And then we also have some uh, accessories to go along with it. Three bags of accessories. So we'll go over that. Um, first, foremost, the remote has a flip up. It's where you can put your cell phone. Nice little design. In the back of the remote, it's where you put your hand. flip up the antenna. You have your controls here, control the drone. You can control the uh, camera on the drone, up and down, record, and take a photo. Uh, you have your initial flight button to uh, get it started. You have your compass, so that way you can collaborate the GPS. And then you have your return to home, it automatically, uh, once your GPS is set up, you have a, a return to home button and it remembers where it originally took off so it'll automatically fly uh, and return back to that landing spot so let's look at the drone drone size is uh, pretty small now you might look at this and say hey that looks like the Maverick uh, DJI Mavic and it actually does the design is very similar it's a foldable design. Now the drone itself is pretty light. It comes in at about seven and a half ounces, uh, which is very, very light. Um, you have your power button right here on the top of the drone. There are LED indicators to let you know the, the front of the drone, the rear of the drone. Then also whenever your um, cable are calibrating 
when you're calibrating your drone to get it started. Uh, under the drone is going to be where the second uh, camera is so that way you have a um, down field of view and also um, where the sensors are uh, so it knows where it's landing uh, when it's about to hit the ground and then also you have a memory card slot so you can um, store your uh, videos or your photos on your memory card or if you have it synced to your phone it can go straight to your phone that way now a memory card doesn't come with the drone itself so you do have to get one of those uh, I'm using currently a 16 gig in here right now so I'm gonna put that back in there and this is a um, micro SD micro uh, the batteries right here you just press this button slide it out and one good thing about it you do get two of these and um, my estimated time with the drone has been about 20 about 20 25 minutes uh, on the full battery power which is not bad for the drone and um, also it only takes about an hour for the battery to ch fully charge <clears throat> so let's like open up these bags and see what else we have in here it's going to be the charging cable for the battery You're gonna get a looks like two more propellers. So just in case you uh, break a propeller, you get, that's an easy fix. Uh, you also have some rubberized feet for the drone because the drone's uh, feet doesn't actually have like leg extensions. It's just little rubber uh, bits that's on the bottom of the drone, and that helps stabilize it when it hits the ground. It's pretty cool. So that's uh, that package there. I'm just gonna put that right there. This is gonna be your second battery. And we have some guards. Uh, so these are going to be propeller guards. Uh, you get these to put on if you like. They're optional. Uh, if you're a beginner flyer, I would recommend it. So that way, if you happen to crash a drone, you can pro somehow protect those propellers. Also comes with a screwdriver, mini screwdriver, so you can uh, take your propellers off if you need replacing. A charging cable uh, for the this is going to be a charging cable for the remote then of course in the pockets of your case you're going to have your instruction manual tells you all about it how to sync a drone all the good details you have your warranty information to your warranty on this particular product and free limited replacement parts for two years, which is pretty dope. And your battery uh, procedures. Now to give you some details on the SEMA X500, let's go over some of the details. The aircraft, like I said, it weighs about 7.2 ounces. The aircraft size comes in about 14 by 11. The range of it is gonna be um, somewhere in about 980 feet the altitude itself is going to be about 300 um, some, some odd feet and the range of the transmission also is going to be somewhere around, around close to 900 feet um, the flight time on this again is going to be anywhere from about 25 27 minutes uh, it can ho hover uh, indoors, I wouldn't recommend using a drone you know, indoors, uh, outdoors use uh, pretty much only. Uh, operating conditions anywhere from zero Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, video transmission frequency is 5 gig gigahertz, which is pretty good. The battery itself is a 7.6 volt 1700 milliamp battery. Uh, charge time is around three hours fully charged. Uh, the remote control, like I said, it runs off a of 2.4 gigahertz frequency if you're going to use a remote. Uh, the range is going to be somewhere about 
980 feet and charging time for the remote itself is one hour so that is all this is going to be the SEMA X500 drone now I would recommend this drone for anyone who is a beginner I wouldn't recommend this drone for the uh, avid photographer like myself as a professional photographer uh, you're not going to get that uh, professional quality images out of this type of drone because this drone doesn't have a gimbal for the camera so um, in windy conditions on just it's going to take a lot um, to get a clear picture or a stabilized picture uh, as far as video and your photos when using this type of drone this drone is going to be for the person that who is um, wanting to learn how to maneuver a drone use a drone and um, want something that's good quality and will last them and I think this uh, drone does the job uh, it's under the $200 range I'm gonna have a link below on how you can get this drone um, link into my Amazon shot so you can get one of these for yourself if you're interested uh, again I recommend it it's a nice little drone to get you started with I had fun flying it. Also, it does have two flight modes on here, um, one for beginner, uh, and basically two flight speeds, a lower speed and a higher speed. So a little bit more for a beginner speed or for a little more advanced um, user speed. Again, this is the SEMA X500 drone. If you like it, make sure you can grab yourself one. And again, I'm Rashard D with Double O Level, and this has been another unboxing video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe on YouTube, hit me up on social media as well. And um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.